Good morning, my friends. I just thought I would take you outside the door for a moment or two. It's quiet, quiet, quiet out here. We've been having snow um, on and off for, I don't know, it seems like forever. <laughs> and what that means is my car is covered with snow way back there in the parking lot. Looks like the uh, plowman needs to come again. He w He's already been here like two or three times over the last 36 hours. So it just means I'm not going anywhere. So let's go inside and I will t show you what I'm up to today, okay? Have you guys ever read that book by Laura Ingalls Wilder? Um, was it called The Long Winter? Where uh, one blizzard after another came through their settlement. They ended up moving from their, from their uh, homestead into town. And they found that like they would have maybe a day between blizzards or some days even just half a day, four to six hours where they had to get out and get their stuff done. And I know it's not anywhere that extreme around here. But the thing is, we live up on a really, really high, long, steep hill. And so traveling between here and town is really risky. And I had a near miss earlier this year. So I just uh, am not going anywhere. But I wanted something to do today, and uh, there have been a lot of pa pantry challenges on YouTube. Pantry purges and menu planning, and I've been doing cooking for friends of mine and have given a lot of food away, which is really fun for me. I, I just enjoy doing that. But I looked through my pantry, I looked through my fridge, and I thought, you know, I'm going to make some meals up ahead for myself. And one of the first things I'm starting with, I have all these jars of canned tomato. And they were done in uh, August and yeah, August of last year, and then September of 16, some of them. And I want to use them up. So what I'm going to do is I've got my biggest pot here. I, it's actually in my cold water canner, but I can use it to, to cook this. And I'm going to make sauce. I'm going to season it with onion and garlic and all the different seasonings. I'm going to leave it on all day long and let it cook down until I get a nice, rich, thick sauce. And then one of the cook-ahead projects for myself is I'm going to make baked spaghetti and just cook it, make it taste really good, and then portion it into two servings and freeze them so that I will have meals ready in the freezer. Um, so that's one project. I've got a couple of bags of rice here. They each have about two cups of cooked rice in. I think I'm going to thaw that and make up a bunch of uh, fried rice. I have uh, two packages of wraps. One is a spinach, and then the other one is a, I'm sorry, you can't see it. It's sun-dried tomato. It's actually this color. I have two and a half packages. So I'm going to thaw them, and I'm going to make up some wraps and freeze them. I have some cold cuts. Um, I've also got some sliced roast beef in the freezer. So I'm just, whatever I can get done today, I'm going to do. I am so in the mood for split pea soup. I had bean soup the other day, and it was just what I had been craving, and now it's split pea soup. So I'm not sure if I'll soak some of these and make some soup throughout the day, but we'll just see. Um, these are little noodles that take maybe three to five minutes to cook. I was thinking of making just some clear chicken broth and uh, adding them for, you know, for a little texture in the soup. So who knows what I will get done today. But uh, my apartment is clean. I can't go anywhere. And I thought, well, why not take care of, of some of this that's been kind of nagging me at the back of my mind. So I will let you see what's going on later. Okay, guys?
I'm ready to start on the wraps and the first thing I'm going to do is make a spread with cream cheese, green onions, um, some mayonnaise, and then just herbs and spices, things that I think would go with it. There's parsley. Back here are Mrs. Dash's salt-free seasoning and onion and garlic powders. I might put in a little touch of salt and some black pepper. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. But here I've got ham and turkey. Um, here are portions of roast beef sliced for sandwiches. Oh, what else? The green onions. Here are the wraps. There's a vegetable and herb wrap, and then there's two of them, and then there are two spinach wraps. But anyway, the first thing I have to make now is the, uh, the spread. That, does, I guess it, does it say record? Yes. Is that what you want? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, here goes. Who's <laughs> having so much fun? Okay. Well, that looks a little better, doesn't it? It does look better. Said walk it up and down. Mm -hmm. That'll help get rid of cow. Are you getting the sauce too? I did. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, guys. It is. It's about 20 to 6. So this sauce cooked for over three hours, if not more. And I'm pretty happy with it. I, frankly, I do not make very good a spaghetti sauce from scratch. I just don't, and and that's the honest truth. But um, there's ground beef, garlic, onion, basil, I think I put some thyme in, brown sugar, um, olive oil, onion and garlic powders, a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then I used the immersion blender. And uh, I think I ended up with close to a gallon of sauce here. So now the thing is like to, <laughs> to store it. <laughs> but I'm happy with it. So, okay, so that was one project for today. So we ended up with about four and a half pints of spaghetti sauce. I had some for dinner and it tastes pretty good. I mean, you know, not restaurant quality, but it was good. I enjoyed it and it was sure worth uh, playing around in the kitchen today. It's been really, really snowy again. So it was a great project for, for indoors. All right, guys, that's what I did today. I hope you had a good day and I will see you soon.